interesting. During the destruction of Army Group Center, many of Hitler's fortified localities were cut off and surrounded by the Soviet advance. These moves were an almost perfect copy of the Blitzkrieg in, of the German Blitzkrieg in 1941. Uh, it's a fortress city, old tank turrets and pillboxes, a fixed system of trenches and earthworks. Um, after successfully breaking through fixed outer defenses, the Soviets' attack turned into bloody street fighting. Your mission is to expel all German units from the five multi-level buildings in the town. These are designated A, B, C, D, and E. You are in control of assault groups made up from the 1st Belarusian Front. These consist of the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Rifle Companies, a platoon of assault guns, and a half platoon of heavy tanks. Ooh, heavy tanks. All right. German forces uh, will consist of infantry units with a small amount of ordnance and armor for support. All right. Use your armor to support your infantry units while they advance. Do not... Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Don't worry about enemy resistance in other buildings. Just... Um, occupy the five multi-buildings. Okay, so we're, this is a pretty focused mission. We're just going after those five buildings. Nothing else matters. Tactical map. Looks like it's a pretty straightforward linear map, which it should be for urban fighting, really. Yeah, most of the uh, condition, most of the victory objectives are for capturing those buildings. There is some small amount of points for uh, for destruction of enemy material. Uh, Swamp plays games. Or Swan plays game. Sorry, um, your te your name's in a really weird color on my screen. Um, that is something I can't really tell from that description. There could it's probably uh, there's probably a router problem. Your router is probably one, either yours or his is blocking a connection. Uh, one easy fix around if you unless you want to talk to support about it. Uh, one easy fix around is to use a program called Hamachi that gets around any uh, router problems, so you don't have to mess with opening ports and stuff. It basically creates a virtual network that bypasses the router problems. Okay. So we've got a lot of units. Actually, I wonder if I'm getting any reinforcements. I don't think I am. Yeah, I didn't see any uh, reinforcement information. I think I gotta work with what I got. Just out of curiosity, um, are you guys watching from Europe, the ones that are reporting problems? And body bag, yes, I'll upload this all later. Uh, it's weird because on my end, the stream configuration quality is, uh, is reported as excellent, so I'm wondering if there's some issue with Twitch. But um, if you guys are in Europe, that might also be a, a reason, or, if, or somewhere else outside of the U.S. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got a bunch of IS-1s. Two of them, actually, I think. Just two? Yeah, two IS-1s. Three ISU-152. Oh, no, wait. Just one ISU-152 and a couple of um, SU-85s. And yeah, guys, um, so I know some of you are having problems viewing the stream. It's um, it's not... the, the uh, There's some problem between us. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to upload the whole thing to uh, YouTube afterwards. Okay. Looks like we've got about two rifle companies. Interesting. Okay. Wow, this is quite a deep setup. Look at this setup. I can set up all the way back here. I don't know why I'd want to set up all the way back here with this heavy fog. Ooh, and I have flamethrowers. All right. Yeah, you really should never say things like that, Thomas. I've learned that it jinx you. The second you say it's working fine, it will misbehave. Okay, let's do plan. So, really deep setup here. First thing I'm, I guess I'm going to do is I'm going to set these guys up to, uh, in case there's anything right over here that can spot me, I'm just going to 
blasted away with a ton of focused firepower. Yeah, body bag. Um, I've I've heard reports before that um, Twitch connections to people watching Twitch in Europe don't always have the best connections. I don't know how widespread it is, but that's what I've heard. So here's the five buildings. They're quite large. The interiors are knocked out in them so we can move around freely in them. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with the deep setup. It makes me wary. And the other thing is that you actually can't see very far. Maybe like up to here, and that's right about here, and that's it. And past that, it's all isolated. You know, it doesn't see anything uh, of the enemy's area. So I think I'm going to end up setting most of my force right around here. Alright, so there's actually not much strategizing to do on this map. It looks like it's going to be a straightforward slog. If I get bombarded with artillery in my attack straight off from the, the beginning, I'm probably just going to restart the scenario. So these guys can actually set up here just fine because it's, yeah, it's pretty protected. There's a hill in front of them. units. I'm starting to see why, um, it's, I still don't see why this setup zone was so deep, but I'm starting to see why it was pretty deep. There's a lot of units to set up on a narrow front. A lot of them I'm just going to have to set up, like, back here and wait to find out where I'm going to deploy them based on the enemy setup. here in the woods. Why not? Actually, I wonder if these guys can see. Hmm, they can actually. I might want to be careful about putting guys there. Actually, that's fine. The first, the uh, the lead squad should be able to see a little bit. The rest of them are behind a bunch of trees. So many units. I have a feeling this is going to be very bloody. Put these guys behind the hill. Yep. Bunch of HQs over here. They'll do what HQs do best, and they'll sit in the building back here. And probably, knowing me, be uh, employed as emergency infantry later in the scenario. Ooh, machine guns. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm just going to set them back. I don't want to start them at the right on the front. For all I know, they're going to get blasted away as soon as the scenario starts.
Where's the other machine gun? Wasn't there another one? I must be going crazy. Ah, yes, that's what I was looking for. Uh, Thomas, yes. Uh, I have... Um, I'm, I think for one of the Black Sea scenarios, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make it live on Twitch. Sounds like fun. Okay, now the tanks. Actually, what would I do with these guys? I'm going to put them in the woods over here, give them a little bit of cover. Okay, tanks. Tanks, tanks, tanks. We're definitely keeping all the tanks closed up for the duration of this mission. Okay, we're almost done. I think that's it. Yep. Let's see what I have for artillery support. Uh, I just have some infantry guns. I think I'll probably... Mm, I wonder if I should save those for a troublesome building. Yeah, I don't think there's much need of a smoke screen that right at the start because this is in heavy fog. Okay, we're just going to start a turn and see what happens. I'll go ahead and switch off the objectives. We know where those buildings are. Uh, Togi-san, no update yet on the, uh, the Red Thunder uh, fix for the buildings. They're still discussing it as far as I know. And most attention right now is focused on getting out the 3.0 upgrades for Battle for Normandy and Fortress Italy as fast as possible. They are definitely aware of the, um, of the building bug, though. I'm making sure they don't forget it. Not that they have, but I'll make sure they won't. So, yeah, pretty quiet start. That's good. I like a quiet start. Okay. I have a recon team here, I do. Which, in this context, basically equals two expendable guys. I think I'm going to recon him up to this. Yes, that's a that's a verb. I'm going to recon him up to this building and see it, <laughs> and just wait to see what shoots at them. No, uh, no, Michael Charles, there is no room for flanking. This is just going to be a straight up assault. Let's just move these guys up and see what happens. These two guys have been tasked with capturing all the objectives. Go. Okay. Nothing's shooting at me. That's a good sign. Actually, I'm kind of curious. 